Hello and welcome to Architeasy. If you are a beginner, I think that this tutorial is going to be a very good for you because in next couple of minutes I am going to show you how you can create this facade like it's done on a Vestra Kajan building in Sweden in Jönköping designed by Tom and Videgård that's the very famous architectural office from Stockholm. Uh, with this video I am not sponsoring them, I simply like this project and I found that this is a very good example where I can show you the method and the process how you can create this on a very quick and a simple way. For this one I will be using Revit 2000. 2024 metric multidisciplinary template so let's just move there uh, the first thing which i'm going to do in revit will be this back wall here sorry uh, but just before i create it i will just go to this uh, uh, south elevation so just right click on this go to elevation view and we see that we are missing a couple of levels so simply select this one go to copy and then select this for a value of 3.6 meters i think this is enough i will again go to the level one i will take wall wall architectural and then for this one i will put the top constraint to be up to the level five for the location line, we'll pick exterior and we'll make this to be, uh, let's say, 20 meters. And if you look at this picture, we see that the slabs are sticking out. So I'm now just going to create them. So it's this value. And we'll just go to the floor. We'll take this one, then select this this I can select this here and I can offset this for let's say three meters then take the trim tool and click on the parts you would like to remain it's fine uh, just click on this house icon to get a 3d view I will in visibility graphics turn off scope boxes Actually, I can turn off everything. And I will select this lab. Then just go here, copy to clipboard, paste, align to selected elements, and click on the level 2, hold shift to the level 5, click OK, and here it comes. So now comes the main part, and it's how we can create this uh, arch trailing. So for this one, I'm not going to use a railing tool in Revit. Instead, I'm going to use a curtain wall tool. And let me show you how you can create a curtain wall suitable for this completely from scratch. So let's just go here to the wall and pick this not defined. Go to edit type and go to duplicate. I will name this one as 01. And let's just go step by step. So for the function, it's exterior curtain panel. That's quite important. We have no curtain panel with this one. So just scroll down and take this, you see, empty curtain panel. Then for the joint condition, I will take border and I think vertical grid. Uh, why vertical and border? Yes, you see, this is the border and this is the vertical. So we don't want the border to be interrupted with the vertical uh, for the vertical layout i'm going to use this maximum spacing and we'll take uh, i can take 110 for example nothing for the horizontal grid so no value no layout and then for the vertical millions i can take this 25 square and i will take actually that one for all the other millions I'm skipping this one just because we are not going to have any horizontal mullions. We are only going to have the horizontal border mullions. So just click OK. Let's go here and just be aware that for the top constraint, in this case, you are using level 2. So from level 1 to level 2. And I'm going to offset it for, I think, 12 and a half millimeters because that's the half of 25 uh, a millimeters pro of the of the mullion and let me just do the 12.5 i can take the pick line and i will just click here 
So yes, this seems fine. If I hover the mouse over the over the floor, we see that this fit very well. So this is how it looked like. Uh, there is a one thing I think, yes, as you could see that that curtain wall starts from the bottom of uh, of the of the slab, not from the top as we have. So I'm going to adjust it. Let's simply select this one and then go to, uh -huh. I don't know how much I have to check what is the thickness of the slab. Select the slab. Okay, 30. Oh, I don't like this number. This is, I think, the something which left in this template because probably they they changed it from the imperial one let's just put this 300 and no worries it's going to apply to all the other slabs then select uh, select our curtain wall and go minus 300 for the level one base offset and minus 300 for the top offset and you see how it's how it looks nice what I see now that maybe it looks like that this this height from floor to floor is not 3.6, it's 3 meters. This is also a very good tip, so you don't need to remodel everything. You simply need to go here. You can just click on this one. And you can take this temporary dimensions and put it 3 meters. Then click on this one and put 3 meters here. And repeat this for all the others. So it means that... You see that automatically reflects to all the other elements because we lock them with the constraints. So yeah, here it comes. And yeah, now we are coming to the moment of how we are going to create those arches. So it's quite simple. And let's go to Revit, select this one and go here to edit profile. If uh, just you take a closer look at the picture, you see that the bottom of the arch is like I think that they have like all of them the the they are ended at the same at the same uh yes at the same level so I am going to go to Revit and then I will take peak lines and we'll put this let's say 1.1 meters so that's the lowest point of my railing which I would like to have and offset from here put now for the offset zero and take the arch tool so i can make this to be i don't know let's just see we have 1.6 meters so the smallest one should be 3.2 meters so let's make this one of 4.2 meters and just click here then let's make this one of 3.2 meters I will make this one of 6.4 meters. And we'll make this one of 4.5 meters. And then I will click this one and then this point. And yeah, this is okay. Select this line deleted, this one here as well. Go to trim. And when you are done with trimming, just click finish mode. You will get a warning here, delete element. So it made uh, uh, Revit made the orange, uh, the, the elements which needs to be deleted. So just delete, go to 3D and this is how it look like. And uh, to make uh, the things on the upper levels, it's actually simple. And if you would like to make it on the upper levels, you need to select this wall, go to clipboard, actually copy to clipboard and then go align to select the level. I will just pick in this case level two. And then do the same process. So go to south elevation, edit profile, or if you don't like how this profile look like and you don't want to work over this uh, one from, from the level one, you simply go to the reset profile. Again, delete elements and you have, you see, completely flat curtain wall ready uh, to be adjusted. That was it for this tutorial. I would like to thank you for watching this one and for supporting us. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to like this video.